Hey y'all, um, I would like to make like a video, a quick um, motivation Mondays or something, something just to uplift you a bit. And um, if you hear some noise, it's either because my um, grandpa's coughing in the background, he's kind of sick and I'm trying to get, you know, in the most quietest room in my house right now because it kind of echoes off. But um, right now, um, I would like to just um, make this little video just to make you understand that how I started off reselling, I didn't have um, $100, $500, and I wasn't going to Target or Walmart and dropping it like, you know, like it's hot or something like that, or, um, you know, this money burning in my pocket like that. So, um, yeah, I would just like to say that I was actually... Um, how I started reselling was, I don't know, it's a very um, unexpected thing that happened to me. And I just went from there and I just kept on going. Um, yeah, my my story of how I became a reseller might be different from some of y'all's. But um, I might going to get in a little bit detail of how I first started into the reselling business. But if you would know, I was just struggling like I whenever I got into reselling I pretty much just had hand me down clothes the clothes on my back and everything like that um I was working the most horrible hours because if you would know at the time I had the most messed up boss like he, well I don't work for him no more they kind of moved him but um He's still in the company, but it's just, like, the guy, he was just so horrible. He would, like, mess up my hours just on purpose because I couldn't show up. And it's not because, oh, I didn't want to show up or anything like that. It's because I had to go to school, and the guy just didn't like the fact that I arranged my school schedule around the time he wants me to be at work. So, um, yeah, this is kind of a long story. But I'm just so glad I'm not working for him anymore. Um, what happened is, how I got into reselling, um, somebody messaged me on Instagram saying that, oh, um, that I'm not like you. And I didn't, you know, I didn't start off like with a $100 bill or $50 bill or anything like that. And then it went to stores and stuff like that. And like I said before, I told him, like, you know, what he don't know, I worked my way up to get that kind of amount in my bank account. And I, you know, I kind of struggle to list every time. And I try to push myself every day to list. But um, how I started off was very unexpectedly. It's just like at the time, um, um, I only had like pretty much... Not enough money to even buy stuff to resell. And I'm thinking that the one reason I became more of an into a book reseller was because I came across like YouTube videos saying that you could sell books. And I was like, what? Like, what? Like, really? You could sell books? And of course, I didn't understand that. And I'm just like, yeah, right. Like, really? So one day I was at my local mall. And I was just walking around, and usually whenever I was at the mall at the time, I was usually walking around buying clothes, or, you know, or, or what was I doing? It was mostly buying an outfit, or I was either, um, um, looking around. I'm mostly hanging out at the mall. Um, one day I just came across this free book bin outside of my mall, and this free book bin, it was just like, sometimes it would have the whole thing piled up, and sometimes it, you know, it had less than, and it's just like, okay, I just went over there, I just saw the word free, and I just went by the book stand, and I just had my phone. At the time, I didn't know much about FBA, I didn't really sell at the time from FBA, what I did, I just picked up my phone, and there was this this um, website or this app that's called Book um, Scouter. It's where they buy books from you, and then you um, 
you send it off to them and then they give you the money or paycheck to them. So one day I was just standing there and I would, you know, scan those books and I was looking at the ISBN numbers and everything like that. And then after that, it was just like, oh, wow, like this book was free and I picked it up and it was worth a dollar on um, Book Scouter or, you know, I was picking up this book and it was worth, you know, four dollars off of, you know, um, Book Scouter. It's just like what I'm just trying to say, you don't have to have a ten dollars or five dollars. You know, that that's nice to have that, but like I said, when I first started, you didn't ha well, I didn't have a hundred dollars to like to do you know, retail arbitrage or F Amazon FBA. I pretty much was like a free book bin and that's how I all began to like start being like, Okay, um, I'm gonna start this online journey of reselling so yeah I'm just trying to just say that I wasn't when I first started I didn't have a hundred dollars to my name or anything like that I mostly just had um, a free book bin and I was just so lucky enough to like you know to learn more as I got into book reselling and then at the time, I would sometimes, like, I would pick up those books and I would, you know, lot them up and sell them off of eBay. And the reason why I kind of just stopped going there is because it, there was less books that would put out. And then sometimes I had to deal with other people that would, other resellers that would be out there too. And they would just, it was mostly like these three men that would wake up early and they would go to the book place and they would just grab hands full of books and I was just like uh no I'm and I was like the only female there so but we became good friends but it's just like you know they had their um journey and I had my journey and then after that I ended up sprouting out more I guess because as you get more experience you start expanding more than just that little area so that's what happened to me and like I said before you don't have to have um money like this hundred dollars it's just like as long as you had like five dollars or where it is you could learn and like I said you you could even pick up stuff for free and learn from that you know if you're that good at searching for something like that and as you go along you're gonna learn and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to learn how to get into retail arbitrage right now. I'm just, you know, seeing how it goes. But it's just right now, I'm happy enough to get to the amount that I earned. But I just want to put something out there just so that you know that I wasn't that great. I, I wasn't, you know, like I said at the time, whenever I got into reselling, I was actually in college paying for books and pretty much paying for a, cl a class or two. Or and I was dealing with um, um, college um, loans payments and what phone bill and all that stuff. I was dealing with all other stuff than you than you know, and I didn't have that kind of money to just go out and spin and then I had this boss who would just give me like 10 hours or whatever it is knowing that you know later on in the store I will tell you how I got into that situation but he knowing that I needed clothes and um stuff like that my boss would just mess up my hours on purpose just just to get me mad so um or just so that he could have me all to himself, which I can't really help if I got to go to school around that time. But, um, yeah, that's all I can ever tell you to the very end. And, you know, I hope that y'all learn and I hope that it would teach you more to expand and learn a little bit more tricks. And I'm hoping later on in life, as I get into retail arbitrage or something like that or their stores, I could teach you some of my tricks or give you some hints on how to um how to um make more money and stay at home or whatever you want to do. Right now I'm just working part time. I'm not really a full time reseller. Right now I'm just a part time reseller making you know twice the amount than you know than I expected. But um yeah, 
that's all I ever say. Um, if you want more videos, please like and subscribe. And I would hopefully make more haul videos. And but right now I'm just very busy to do so, and I really haven't went thrifting enough to um do some hauls. Unless you want to look at book hauls, right now I don't really um have as much books to like haul around you know to show you my haul but you know if you're interested in books I will show you my book haul and I will try to edit around and make the video and everything like that um right now that's all I can ever say all right bye